Hello there, welcome back to the channel. It's uh, Wednesday, the 10th of April. Yes, it's absolutely awful. But I want to come out and get me exercise, so just do a short video. I hope you can hear me. We won't be on this front for long. Anyway, I'll try and finish my introduction while I'm sheltered from the wind again. So yeah, welcome back to the channel. Um, hope you're doing well. Yeah, it's another rubbish, rubbish day again in Blackpool. We've got these all these places I want to go that I keep telling you, and we will be getting there. You know, well, your St Anne's, your Lytham, Cleveley's, the Sand Dunes, Fleetwood. We will be getting to all these places very soon. But it's it's not just because I'm only a warm weather person to go out. It's also it's miserable for you to watch. Because everything looks better when the sun shines. So, yeah, I don't want to go out and I'm halfway through a video and then I get a downpour of rain. It's just miserable. So, yeah, bear with me. But until this weather changes, we'll just do some general daily walks just around the town. I don't want to bore you to death with the same walk. But, uh, yeah, I haven't been out for a couple of days. Well, one day was yesterday where the winds were absolutely horrific here in Blackpool. I think it was a delay to that storm Kathleen because it never really hit us on the Saturday. But my God, we got battered here yesterday. And I was going to go out, but it was horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. Apparently you can hear the wind now, but nowhere near like it was. So yeah, stick with me in these places you've asked me to go. And I've said where I'm going to go, we will be doing some different stuff. Just the weather to be a little bit more stable. It's fun for everybody then, I think. But anyway, let's continue our journey and have a wander through the town. Let's just show you what's going on in Blackpool today. Just a shot over there of, um, well, as I know this building, it was Sanook. Before Sanook, it was a waterfront bar. Nightclub, basically, we're talking about here. Mr. Manchester knows all about this building, don't you, from 2001, 2002. We had a conversation about this when the army was called in. But, uh, yeah, originally it was a cinema. Originally, originally, back, back in the old days. I never, I never see this Woody's place open now. But yeah, shabby and run down, isn't it? What a shame. Lovely buildings. Bees knees over there that we've talked about. You've had a glimpse in there. We'll be going in there soon, so I should do a full video in there soon. So sweet, just for you, Julie. Oh, it's a miserable miss, isn't it? Like I said to you, yeah, I could, I could get on a bus and go down to Lytham for you, more about Lytham and St. Anne's, but it's just horrible and grey. You know, I can wrap up more and do these videos, but... And then you've got this thing called wind that keeps interfering with me. Anyway, let's have a quick peep on North Pier, shall we? A little glimpse there of Talbot Square. They used to have underground toilets there in the middle. Before my time. You see, it's hard work doing a video in this weather, the wind. I hope it's not too bad for you. Anyway, North Pier. Give you a little glimpse out to sea. Pretty grim, but you can see it. <laughs> so, you're not missing much people at the moment in Blackpool. 
so nice in here in the summer. You know, just on this bit here, you've got this outside area. See, this sells coffee and what have you, but it's all closed up, opens at weekends. But yeah, you've got this nice area here that I'm sure you all know. You can sit out there as well. And then you've got a bar there. And then don't forget, at the end of the pier, you've got the... Uh, bar right at the other end but uh, yeah we won't walk the bar we can weave again balloon bar yeah down the other end yeah well there's no point in going all the way down today I don't think it's it's muddy and we'll cover the other piers as well soon it's horrible, isn't it? Absolutely horrible today, isn't it? Yeah, this isn't a spring day. This is a winter day today. Absolutely miserable. Absolutely miserable. This is the sort of day you need to visit the uh, Regent Antique and Vintro Cinema and look at the uh, collectibles in there when you get a day like this because it is miserable isn't it? So I've turned round, just the wind is so fierce, it's always bad in this particular area here. Yeah, that Black Me Amusements, that was originally, well it was originally, the whole building originally before it was rebuilt, it was Lewis's, Lewis's all that building there, but in my time, was Blackpool Amusements has been a Woolworths when I first come here, and then a Poundland, and now it's Blackpool Amusements. Yeah, but that was the original Lewis building, but way before my time. Yeah, that's Victoria Street, we just walked up there. Cross, cross, cross. And there's that cinema there that uh, I have my doubts about. That lock cinema, diner. There's the work on the outer brickwork there on, on the Winter Gardens. Yeah, it's closed. Winter Gardens is closed for a private function. It's just one of those horrible, mucky days where you think winter's on the way, innit? Rather than summer on the way. It's horrible.
Yeah, we're just inside the old Abingdon Street Market now. You can see how it's completely changed, isn't it? Completely different. Very arty. I just hope these small independent businesses can make a living out of it. And this man here, I talked to him the other day, but if you bring your trainers in here, he will professionally clean them for you. Yeah. Professional clean trainers. Anyway, let's enter through to Wacky Warehouse. quiet in here today as you would expect yeah this place is another place which is dog friendly a lot of different beers in here some, some different beers in here different draft beers ciders I know I've been in here when it first opened and I bought an orange beer it was quite nice but it was one of those beers that just repeated on you Anyway, there's a look, look around the Abingdon Street Market. For anybody that hasn't seen it before, if you want to call it a market. Right, let's continue this walk. See the square. See the square, which, again, looks like gloomy, doesn't it? When there's no tables out and the sun's not shining. But it's coming. The summer is coming. Cedar Tavern. Yeah, I remember going in there for a couple of drinks. Lovely old Art Deco 1930 style building, isn't it? And then we've got this post office here that's still... Nobody knows what's going on with it. So, uh... Yeah, I've got a subscriber, and I apologise, I forgot your name in Canada, that uh, he started out working in the post office in, in Bolton in 1968, but he was sent here to work, and he's got some very happy memories of Blackpool in this building, and I apologise for your loss of your name again, so please forgive me, but yeah, it's just the back half, if uh, you haven't seen it. But yeah, it's uh, it's up for sale. It's a huge building, new site, listed. Talking about hotels. It's the sort of place Weatherspoons would buy, isn't it? Because Weatherspoons buy them sort of thing. I mean, it's a bit too big. But they do accommodation in Weatherspoons as well. But it's an awful lot of money. <laughs> Yeah, this is the um, Dean's Gate. This is cool. I know some of you have been down here before, but every day is different in Blackpool, and I'm continuing to gain subscribers. So I have to respect them, they can go back on my playlist and look, but it's good to see another walk around and see what's going on in Blackpool in the sp spring. Did I say spring? Spring day? Oh well. Yeah, and now we're just out on Abingdon Street here. Like I said before, I won't repeat myself, but I will on this occasion. As soon as this weather gets a bit more stable, the walks and the places will be different where I'm going. I just, I'm not going out in all this weather. It's, it's just miserable. Even though it's not cold. So, uh, anyway, it's just a daily, daily walk around Blackpool. Like we've always said. 
Every day is different in Blackpool. It's brightened up a little bit. Not much, but it has brightened up a little bit. But uh, what, do people, what do people know about this um, scheduled heat wave that's supposed to be coming? Anybody know about that? Never know what to believe anymore, anyway. Yeah, a little bit of Talbot Road here. Let's take you in Mark Kelly's, show you what Mark Kelly's is like. I'll give you a time check, yeah, three o'clock. We're on three o'clock in the afternoon. Let's have a little wander around here and just show you what it's like. Last time it was really, really packed. Yeah, that was fun, wasn't it? Cheeky look at Mark Kelly's. In this place, uh, this place opens up very soon, Holiday Inn. This here, this uh, car, multi story car park, and obviously it's got baseries around the other side and the gym and what have you. But this originally was a bus station underneath and a car park on top. Now, this was one of the very, very first multi-store car multi-story car parks to be built this one actually opened in 1936 doesn't look like it now but it's um the shell remains the same but yeah 1936 that's how long it's been a multi-story car park what a tower over there look cheeky look at the tower This building here, Prudential, is disgusting. Disgusting 1970s, 1980s building, isn't it? But originally in the 1880s, it was the Talbot Road Hotel with the bowling green. Really going back years and years. Um, yeah, you can find a picture of it, what it was like. But yeah. Anyway, stop it, Mark. Stop it. Keep the content rolling. Rolling, rolling, rolling. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, I'll just have to put the cat back on because you're not allowed cats in Mark Kelly's. It's the one pub you're not allowed cats on. You have to put them away and I know it's the difference. Bit drafty. Drafty, drafty. Anyway, what do you think? Do you think I should end it here while the going's good? I think I should end it here and say thank you all very much. Hope you enjoyed this. As I say, it's uh, it's grim here in Blackpool today. 
So we're not venturing out far, but I'll just give you a daily vlog and a walk around Blackpool. And I will catch you all again, all being well tomorrow. And I'll see if I can bring some sunshine with me. Until then, thank you to everybody again, and uh, I'll catch you all again very soon. Bye-bye for now.